Welcome to Only TV and Postcard Show, the place to be to grow and scale your practice. I've been asking myself a question lately. If you only have one hour this week to work on the marketing plan for your practice, what can I advise you? What can I help you? So in this episode, I'm going to show you a simple five-step process to create an effective marketing plan that can generate new patient inquiries as soon as you launch it. You can develop a plan and get your team to get started in as little as one hour. Now, step number one is to work out the key procedure or service that generates the most revenue or the one you want to be most known for. Then work out the target audience profile. Just think about the extraordinary successful companies out there. They always have one product or service they're most known for or that makes them the most money. Even though they all are offering many products or services, for example, McDonald's is their burger, right? For Google, that's their search engine. For Apple, that's the iPhone. What about for Starbucks? I think you know the answer. You can relate this to your practice. What is one procedure that you want to be known for or what makes you the most revenue? The most successful practices know this and are always asking, what is that one thing? I've talked a lot more about the one thing concept in the video called, what's your one thing? So check that out. Now, if you want to learn more about how to identify the target audience and where are they hanging out right now, along with how to attract them to your clinics, check out our previous episodes of OMB TV called um, Three Key Marketing Questions That You Need to Answer and How to Get Unlimited Traffic to Your Clinics. We discuss the Dream 100 List concept, which is the idea of identifying the top 100 tribes that thousands of your target audience are already active members of and finding a way to infiltrate these tribes. That way, you can display your targeted message to these tribes members. This will take your ideal patient from, I've never heard of this clinic, to what is this clinic that I keep hearing about? I leave the link to that episode in the show note below so you can watch them later. Now, step number two is to create a lead magnet for it. Inquiring about your core services immediately can sometimes be a big commitment for prospects. This is often a long, hard decision depending on your core service, especially if it has something to do with their health or appearance. If you can take a portion of your core services and narrow it down and give them a mini commitment to a smaller portion of your core service, it will be a lot easier for them to commit. Once they have a taste of your services, you can build trust and authority with them, then you move them forward with your larger total service offerings. A lead magnet is that ethical bribe, a free offer that you can put on your lead generation page of your website to incentivize prospective patients to give you their email, name, phone number, or whatever detail you want to ask for. Here are some ideas to pick from. Free consultation. Discard for those uh, who book appointments online. Free medical tests when they finally come to your office. Or an educational health guide packaged in an ebook or a video series. This lead magnet has to be irresistible and should target the pain of your patients. What do they hope to get from your services? What are the things that cause them pain or discomfort? And what can you do to relieve them? It should speak directly to your potential patients and be impossible to resist. Some surgeons will question this front-end offer because they don't have any low-cost services that they can offer be before their core service, which is surgery. If this is the case, you can still follow the same strategy when it comes to a lead magnet by offering some valuable piece of content to get prospects to know you, then present an irresistible foot-in-the-door offer to get prospects inquiring about you, for example. Seven things you must know before considering a breast implant, for example. This is titled just an example, but this type of offer will provide a lead with some valuable information and position you as an expert and trusted authority in that field. 
inside a PDF of that content, you can present an irresistible offer, for example, a free 3D simulation consultation. The tip here is to outline exactly that they would, what they would get from the consultation. Show more value so they can see that you offer, your offer has so much more value that they can't resist but take you up on this offer. The offer should be uh, for a limited time and not available forever or on the website. So it creates some sort of a scarcity here. Now, step number three is to create a landing page for your lead, your lead magnet. And so your website feature a dedicated landing page for your lead magnet and the service that you want to promote. Landing pages, unlike normal web pages, are designed with a single focus in mind. There's no other call to action distraction. This will get your target prospect to do one thing, which is to sign up for your lead magnet. Here, you can see an example, the lead magnet I wrote specifically for medical doctors and surgeons to help them resolve their key pain point, to, which is to grow their referral doctor network. I leave the links uh, in the show notes below, some uh, landing page examples so you can check it out. And if you need help in terms of designing and building a landing page for your lead magnet, please reach out to us, we can definitely help you out. Now move on to step number four, which is to promote your key service and lead magnet everywhere. You can promote them through many different digital channels. The key channels are Google, Facebook, Instagram, and your email list. Make sure you can find it in one of the top spots on Google search results, both on the maps and search ads. You could do this through local SEO and a Google Ads campaign. You can utilize the power of remarketing to retarget people who have visited your website, who have been on your email list, or your existing social media fans and their followers through the Facebook and Instagram remarketing ads. Remember, you just need to focus on making your key procedure and lead magnet dominant everywhere else first, and then you will see the results fairly quickly. Now, moving on to step number five, which is the final step. Think about referral partners that can help you promote their service. Your network of affiliates can help you reach thousands or even millions of your desired target audience. For example, instead of just relying on your own email list of existing prospective patients, what if you found 10, 20, or 100 affiliates who each had an email list of tens of thousands of people? You can quickly reach millions, right? The amount of leverage you can get when you build an affiliate program and leverage other people's efforts is huge, I tell you. So when you find those people and places, your work efforts is centered on getting those people and places to mention, review, or promote you, your work and your practice. If you want to be um, to learn more about maximizing referral network, please check out the episode number 69 called How to Generate Thousands of Visits from Referral Tribes. There you have it the simple one-hour marketing plan to help you get started and find traction in generating new patient inquiries and position you as an expert in your chosen field. Now, if your one thing is to double your new patient inquiries in the next six months, I would suggest that you attend our webinar called Three Must Do Strategies to Generate More New Patients and Referral on Autopilot. And that we talk a lot in our previous episodes. So spend one of your early hours of your morning attending that webinar. I leave the link to that webinar in the show notes below so you can sign up. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope to see you in our webinar soon. Bye for now.